Hello guys, I have here a Lenovo ThinkPad T480 and it happens to be administrator locked with a BIOS password as you can see. This password does not stop the user from accessing the BIOS using the enter key nor limit the ability to run Windows operating system when pre-installed on a drive. However, it limits the user from making changes to the BIOS setup as well as keeps the system from running at its maximum capability. Therefore, the system could be painfully slow at performing normal day-to-day -day tasks. In addition, it can also be remotely monitored and manipulated by a system administrator. In attempting to remove the BIOS password, there are a couple of things that definitely will not work. I will tell you about them because I tried them out. 1. Reinstalling Windows OS from Windows Recovery I boot into Windows Recovery using the Shift key plus Restart combination and installed a fresh version of Windows Operating System. This definitely did not clear the BIOS password as you can see. 2. Updating the BIOS chip in Windows. I downloaded the Lenovo Vantage software on the Windows Store and proceeded to update the BIOS. The update was successful, but this also did not clear the BIOS password. 3. Performing a UEFI patch on the BIOS chip. I came across a UEFI patch that enhances the performance of Lenovo ThinkPads and I successfully patched the contents of the BIOS chip with the hopes that this would solve the performance issues or clear the BIOS password. However, it didn't. The BIOS password still remained untouched. 4. Trying to clear the password using the wrong method. In a previous video, I successfully cleared the BIOS password on an Apple iMac 21.5 inch mid-2011 PC. I felt this could be done using the same method, but I was wrong. Although the Lenovo T480 BIOS chip can be successfully read and written to using a CH341A USB BIOS programmer, the output has no $SVS to clear in the BIOS after it has been read. Today, I will be demonstrating how to remove the admin BIOS password from a Lenovo ThinkPad T480 using a method that is expected to work for SVP-locked Lenovo machines up to the 8th generation. The credit for this patch I will be using goes to Knuckle Grumble over at badcaps.net forum. If you are interested in learning more about the patch, I will leave a link in the video description. This solution requires a CH341A USB BIOS programmer, which is easily obtainable on Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress. For help on setting this up for the first time, or for a short quick start guide on the CH341A USB BIOS programmer, check in the video description. You would also need a Windows or Linux PC capable of running Python. I will be making use of a Windows 11 PC since Windows 7 is not compatible with Python. I download and install the following software files. AS Programmer. This is a freeware and is used for reading the BIOS chip. Python for Windows. This is a freeware and is used for patching the contents of the BIOS chip. Lenovo Auto Patcher 0.2. This is free and is also used for patching the contents of the BIOS chip. I'll be leaving the links to all files in the video description. It is necessary to disconnect the batteries, remove the RAM, and replace the storage, 
hard drive or SSD with a copy that does not contain an operating system. The BIOS chip is found here, next to the RAM models. So I proceed to connect the CH341A USB BIOS programmer to the BIOS chip. Next, I run AS Programmer as an administrator. When the program opens, I click on Detect Chip to locate my chip from the list. The name of the chip can be found written on the top of the chip. I click on Read to read the BIOS chip. The reading lasts for 3 minutes and I save the information read ending the file name with a.bin. This will serve as a backup of the BIOS chip, so I intend to keep it in a safe location. I perform a second reading of the chip in order to confirm that the first reading was accurate. The second reading also lasts about 3 minutes and I save the second reading as well. I open a command prompt, change the directory to where the files are located and run setutil command on both files to confirm that they both produce the same hash value. Don't forget to include the .bin at the end of the file name. The values are the same, proving that both files are accurate. I proceed to retain one of the copies as a backup copy. To verify that the patch command will run successfully, I run cmd as administrator and run this command, python dash dash version. If you get an error message, you might need a fresh installation of Python for Windows. Check in the video description for help with this. Next, I go ahead to run the patch on the BIOS file. Don't forget to include the .bin at the end of the file name. The patch runs successfully and a patched BIOS file is created. I run AS Programmer as administrator, detect and select my BIOS chip and open the patch BIOS file. I click on the arrow beside the right button to ensure that off protect, erase, write and verify are all ticked. I click on write and choose yes to begin writing to the BIOS chip. The writing lasts for about 4 minutes. I proceed to take off the CH341A USB BIOS programmer and replace the RAM module and internal battery. I also replace the back cover, the external battery and connect the power adapter before testing once again. I press the F1 key as the laptop powers on to access the BIOS setup. I get this message and press F1 once more. When the padlock screen shows up, I am to enter any characters. Here I input 4 characters and hit on the enter key. For some reason, I got stuck at this screen and I had to restart the laptop to go over the remaining steps. My camera also stopped recording, so here are the remaining steps that I carried out. Press enter when it shows hardware ID. Press spacebar two times when asked. Turn off the machine. Next, I restore the original BIOS using the AS Programmer software. The restore lasts for about 4 minutes as shown here. I disconnect the CH341A USB BIOS Programmer 
Replace the RAM model and internal battery. I still leave in place the hard drive that doesn't contain an operating system and I go ahead to test the results. The system boots directly into the BIOS setup without requesting for a password and the supervisor password is now disabled as you can see. Next, I reset the BIOS to factory defaults and I exit the BIOS saving the changes. I replace the hard drive with an SSD that contains an operating system and I go ahead to replace the back cover screws. I check once again to confirm that all is working great and yes, it is. I am glad that I've been able to get rid of the BIOS lock on this laptop and it works just fine. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.